Today we will start exercise 1c, circles chapter exercise 1c. So here we have some formulas in 1c. So this is very important to note down. Uh, the first one is the equation of tangent to the circle s is equal to 0 at x1 comma y1 is s1 is equal to 0. The equation of tangent to the circle s is equal to 0 at x1 comma y1 is s1 is equal to 0. So, in the last class, uh, we have a problem on length of tangent, that is root s11. Now, equation of tangent. Equation of tangent to the circle s is equal to 0 at the point x1, y1 is s1 is equal to 0. So, what is s1? The rotation you have to remember, that is xx1 plus yy1 plus g2x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. So that is equation of tangent. And next one is normal. Now, what is a normal? Normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent. What is a normal? Normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent. So here we have to find out the equation of normal when a circle equation is given and a point is given. X1, Y1, some point. So the equation of normal to the circle at X1, comma Y1. Uh, to the circle s is equal to 0 is x minus x1 into y1 plus f minus of y minus y1 into x1 plus g is equal to 0. So, this is equation of normal. So, these are the formulas uh, very very important you have to note down. Right. So, exercise 1c first problem find the equation of tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0 at 7 comma minus 5. So here we have to find out the equation of tangent. So first what we do, I will just repeat the equation of circle x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. This is equation of circle. Now equation of tangent. So the equation of tangent to the circle s is equal to 0 at x1 comma y1 is s1 is equal to 0. The equation of tangent to the circle s is equal to 0 at x1 comma y1 is s1 is equal to 0. Now we have to write the notation of s1 that is nothing but x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. So this is the notation of s1. Now x1 y1 is 7 comma minus 5. This point we have to substitute instead of x1 y1. So x into what is x1? x1 is 7. Okay, x1 is 7. Plus y into y1 is minus 5. After that, g value, what is g value from the equation of circle? See, 2g is minus 6. 2g is minus 6. So, g will be minus 3. What is g value? Minus 3. 2g is equal to minus 6. So, what is g value? It is minus 3. Half of this given value. Half of this given value is the same sign. g value is minus 3 f value is, that means 2f is equal to 4, f is equal to 2. So, how to get the value of f? Half of the given value, here half of this 4 with the same sign, don't change the sign. So, minus g into x plus x1. What is x1? x1 is 7. f value is 2. 2f is 4, f is 2. Half of this given value with the same sign. So, that is 2 into y plus y1, y1 is minus 5, x, this y we have to write as this, y1 is 5 and constant is minus 12, so write minus 12 is equal to 0, so we will simplify this, 7x minus 5y minus 3x minus 21, 7x minus 5y minus 3x minus 21 plus 2y minus 10 minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay. So, we will simplify this. 7x minus 3x is 4x 
minus 5y plus 2y is minus 3y. Then minus 21 minus 10 is minus 31. Minus 31 and minus 12. Minus 31 and minus 12 is minus 43 is equal to 0. Okay. Minus 21 minus 10 is minus 31. Minus 31 and 10 will be minus 41 and 2 if you add minus 43 will be equal to 0. So this is the equation of tangent. So this problem is completed. So next problem you try this. Find the equation of tangent. Find the equation of tangent at 3 comma 4 to the circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 11 is equal to 0. x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 11 is equal to 0. So to this circle we have to find out the equation of tangent. Okay, Try this problem. So next question. Find the equation of normal at 3 comma minus 4 to the circle x square plus y square plus x plus y minus 24 is equal to 0. Now what is a normal? Normal is a line always perpendicular to a tangent. So normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent. So here we find out equation of normal. So I will repeat the circle equation that is x square plus y square plus x plus y minus 24 is equal to 0. So what I will do is first I will find out g value. See what is 2g? 2g is equal to 1. 2f is equal to 1. Coefficient of x is 2g. Coefficient of y is 2f. So 2g and 2f we got. From here we find out g value and f value. And what is c value? It is minus 24. Okay. g, f, c we find out. Now we will write down the equation of normal. We will write down the equation of normal at x1, y2. At x1, y1 is. So, what is the equation of normal? It is x minus x1 into y1 plus f. x minus x1 into y1 plus f. Minus of y minus y1 into x1 plus g is equal to 0. So, this is a formula to find the equation of normal. So, we find out the normal. That is x minus x1. x1 is a point 3 into y1 is minus 4 plus f value is 1 by 2. f value is 1 by 2 minus of y minus y1. What is y1? y1 is minus 4. I am substituting this will become plus 4 into x1. x1 is 3. x1 is 3 plus G, what is G value? G value is 1 by 2 is equal to 0. So, we substituted x1 by 1, f value, g value. After substituting x minus 3 into, just take, simplify minus 4 plus 1 by 2. See, minus 8 plus 1, it is minus 7 by 2. Okay, we have simplified this. Then after that, minus of y plus 4 into 3 2 are 6 plus 1 is 7 by 2 is equal to 0. Now, after this, what I do? I take 7 by 2 as common. I am taking 7 by 2 as common. So, I am taking 7 by 2 common. I will get minus of x minus 3. Minus of x minus 3. Minus of y plus 4 is equal to 0. See, I took 7 by 2 common. So, without 7 by 2, we will write the remaining terms. That is, minus of x minus 3 minus of y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, the common which we have taken 7 by 2 is no need to write. The reason is on RHS, we are equating to 0. That is the reason we are not writing the common term 7 by 2. Now, if you simplify this, we will get equation of normal. So, we will simplify this one. So, minus x plus 3 minus y minus 4 is equal to 0. See, minus x plus 3 minus 
y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, minus x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Minus x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, I take minus sign common x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. This is the equation of normal. Okay. So, this problem is complete. Next problem. You try this problem. Find the equation of normal at 3 comma 5 to the circle x square plus y square minus 10x minus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. Try this problem. So next one. Next one is an important one. It's very very important problem. Okay. So the next formula, next note is the length of chord to the circle s is equal to 0 at x1 comma y1. With respect to the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is 2 into under root of r square minus d square. So what is the length of chord? Here we find out the length of chord. The length of chord is given by 2 into under root of r square minus d square. Now here r is the radius of a circle and what is d? d is the perpendicular distance from the center of circle to the chord. What is D? D is a perpendicular distance from the center of circle to the chord. So here, the, what is the equation of chord in the formula? Equation of chord is Ax plus By plus C is equal to 0. Ax plus By plus C is equal to 0 is the equation of chord. Now see here, here, now circle. What is a chord? The line joining two points in a circle is chord. Now suppose I am assuming AB as a chord. AB is a chord. Now look at the center. This is the center of a circle. Okay. Now from center, drop one perpendicular such that it touches the chord at some point. So this is a perpendicular. Now this is center. Let mark this as some P. Okay. Now AB is a chord and what is CP? CP is the perpendicular distance or CP is the length of perpendicular. So now when we are finding the chord, what is the formula we are using? 2 into under root of R square minus D square. Okay. Now what is R? R is the radius. So I am locating radius here. So this is R. What is R? R is the radius of a circle. And what is D? D is the perpendicular distance from center of a circle to the chord. So here in this, the CP is the length CP. Here, the length CP is nothing but D, perpendicular distance from center to the chord. Okay. So what is D? D is the perpendicular distance from center to the chord. Now, how to find radius? It is simple. R is equal to under root of g square plus f square minus c. Okay. How to find R? R is nothing but if a circle is given to you, you can find out radius. g square plus f square minus c. But what is D? D is the perpendicular distance from center to the chord. So, perpendicular distance. What is length of perpendicular? See, the length of perpendicular. The length of perpendicular from x1 comma y1. The length of perpendicular from x1 comma y1 to the circle, sorry, to the line, to the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is perpendicular distance is mod of ax1 plus by1 plus c by under root of a square plus b square. Here, perpendicular distance is nothing but length of perpendicular from a point with respect to the line. So, what is the point here? x1, y1. And what is the line? ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, here you have to use length of perpendicular. So, what is length of perpendicular? ax1 plus b y1 plus c by under root of a square plus b square. This is nothing but b. Find D, you have to use length of perpendicular. So, what is length of chord? It is 2 into under root of R square minus B square. R is the radius. 
and then root of g square plus x square minus c and what is d? d is the perpendicular distance from center to the chord. So how to find out that d? It is ax1 plus by one plus c by under root of a square plus b square. Now we will solve the problem of this. So, now problem. Find the length of chord intercepted by the circle x square plus y square minus 3x sorry x square plus y square minus x plus 3y minus 22 is equal to 0 on the line y is equal to x minus 3. So here we have a circle equation and we have a equation of chord. Equation of circle, equation of chord is given. What is equation of chord? y is equal to x minus 3 is the equation of chord. So what we do is first we write the equation of circle. The equation of circle. Now x square plus y square minus x plus 3y minus 22 is equal to 0. Now what is g value from the given equation of circle? It is minus 1 by 2. And what is f value? It is 3 by 2. See g value 2g is minus 1. 2g is minus 1. So g is minus 1 by 2. And next 2f is 3. So f is equal to 3 by 2. Now after that what we do? We find out center and radius. So what is center? Center is minus g comma minus f. So what is the center we get? It is nothing but minus 1 by 2, sorry, it is 1 by 2 comma minus 3 by 2. This is the center of circle. Now we will find out radius. Radius is under root of g square plus x square minus c. So r is equal to under root of g square minus 1 by 2 whole square is 1 by 4 plus x square f is 3 by 2 square it will get 9 by 4 minus c so c value is minus 22 when we substitute minus of minus will become plus 22 after that r is equal to under root of 1 plus 9 plus 88 by 4 we will get same okay. so r is equal to under root of 88 plus 10 is 98 by 4. 98 by 4. So we will simplify this R value. We will cancel this. 2's are 2 4's are 8 to 9. So this implies what is R value here? R is nothing but R is nothing but 7 by root 2. See, we have r is equal to under root of 49 by 2. So, that is nothing but square root of 49 is 7, root 2 as is. So, what is r value? 7 by root 2. Now, we have r value. See, what is length of chord? Length of chord is nothing but 2 into under root of r square minus d square. Now, this is a chord. Right? Now, this is radius of the circle R we already have. R is 7 by root 2. Now we have to find out D. What is D? D is the perpendicular distance. D is the perpendicular distance from center of the circle to the chord. So now I find out D. To find D what I will do is see. To find D, I will write down the equation of chord. Here in the problem, equation of chord is given. The equation of chord is y is equal to x minus 3. Rewrite this equation. We get x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. y is equal to x minus 3 is the equation. Rewrite in the form of ax plus by plus c. So we get x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. So from this equation, we find out d. D is nothing but ax1 plus by1 plus c by under root of a square plus b square. So, we are finding the perpendicular distance from center to the chord. So, what is the center of a circle? 1 by 2 comma minus 3 by 2. So, here 
x1 by 1 is nothing but uh, 1 by 2 comma minus 2 by 2. B is a perpendicular distance from center. Here the center is important. Center means 1 by 2 comma minus 3 by 2. So that is x1 by 1 to the power. So ABC value is got to take from the equation of power. A is equal to 1. B is equal to minus 1. And C value is minus 3. Okay, we are finding D now. So D is equal to A value 1 into x1. It is 1 by 2. And B value is minus 1 into y1 is minus 3 by 2. 1 into 1 by 2 minus 1 into 3 by 2. And what is C value we have? Minus 3. So substitute that minus 3. Why? Under root of A square plus B square. A square plus B square. It is 1 plus 1. Put it in more. Okay. So now what is B value we find out? D is equal to 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 minus 3 by root 2. Okay. B value is 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 minus 3 by root 2. So we find out D. Okay, we'll simplify this, we get D value. So D is equal to D is equal to 1 plus 3 minus 6 by 2 root 2. Okay, we are simplifying this by taking LCM. 1 plus 3 minus 6 by 2 root. We are taking LCM, this 2 goes to denominator 2 root. Put this in mod. Now, D is equal to mod of 1 plus 3, 4. 4 minus 6 is minus 2 by 2 root. Minus 2 by 2 root. Remove the mod and simplify this. You will get D value as 1 by root 2. After getting D, see, after getting D, length of chord, length of chord is 2 into under root of R square minus D square. Now we have R value, radius, 7 by root 2. And D value also we have 1 by root 2. It is substituting. So it is 2 into under root of R square. What is R? R is 7 by root 2 whole square. 7 by root 2 whole square minus D value is 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 whole square. So 2 into under root of 49 by 2 minus 1 by 2. 49 by 2 minus 1 by 2. So 2 into under root of 48 by 2. See. 2 into under root of 48 by 2 implies 2 into under root of 24. Cancel. Now again, how to split this 24 using a perfect square? See, perfect square means you have 4. 4 is a perfect square, 1 is a perfect square and again 9 is a perfect square. Using any of these perfect squares, you can split 24. This 2 root 24 can be written as See, root 24 can be written as 4 into 6. Root 24 can be written as 4 into 6. And this 4 is a perfect square. But what is square root of 4? It is 2. So what we get is, already we have 2. Already we have 2. Square root of 4 is 2. And this root 6 as it is. This root 6 as it is. See, root 24 we are writing it as 4 into 6. What is square root of 4? 2. This is 2. This is already there. So, 2 root 6. Now, what is length of chord if you simplify? 2 root of 4 root 6. So, what is the length of chord in this case? It is 4 root 6 units. So, you can write down. So, that is 4 root 6. So, what is length of chord we are getting? 4 root 6. So, this is very very important problem. So, this problem is completed. So next, you try to do uh, the similar problem. Find the length of chord intercepted by the circle x square plus y square minus 8x minus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. On the line, x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. So here, from the equation of circle, you find out center and radius. From the equation of circle, you find out 
center and radius. Again from this equation of chord x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0, you find out perpendicular distance d. Okay, so try this problem. So the next problem, again it's a problem on length of chord. Find the length of chord formed by the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square on the line x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. So to find the length of chord, first we write the equation of circle. What is the equation of circle? x square plus y square is equal to a square. Now this equation is of the form x square plus y square is equal to r square. So we are comparing x square plus y square is equal to a square with x square plus y square is equal to r square. Now what is center? Center of this circle is or this circle above one is 0 comma 0. Already I have given a note in the first class. The center of the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square is 0 comma 0 and radius is r. So if I compare what is the radius here? r square is equal to a square. r is equal to a. So what is radius? Radius is nothing but a. After getting a what we need to find the length of chord c. Length of chord is nothing but 2 into under root of r square minus d square. Already we have the value of r. Now we have to find out d. What is d? d is the, see what is d? d is the perpendicular distance from the center of circle to the chord. So here, here the equation of chord is given to us. What is the equation of chord? You can write it as x cos alpha plus y sin alpha minus t is equal to 0. Equation of chord is x cos alpha minus plus y sin alpha minus t is equal to 0. So from this equation, a value is cos alpha. I am comparing with a, see, I am comparing this equation with ax plus dy plus c is equal to 0. So a value is cos alpha, b value is sin alpha and c value is minus t. Now we find out d. So what is d? d is mod of ax1 plus dy1 plus c by under root of a square plus b square. So this is d. So d is equal to see ax1. What is x1 by 1? It is nothing but center. x1 by 1 is center here. Because perpendicular distance always we find from center. So ax1. So a into 0 is 0. b into 0 is 0. So what is left? C. What is C value? Minus P. So minus P by under root of A square plus B square. What is A value? Cos alpha. It is cos square alpha plus B value is sin alpha. It is sin square alpha. Okay. So A value is cos alpha. So cos square alpha plus sin square alpha. So what is length of chord? This implies the length of chord is remove the mod and write the length of chord. What is length of chord we are getting? P. See, I will repeat this. Ax1 plus b1 plus c by under root of a square plus b square is d. So what is a value? Cos alpha. Cos alpha into x1 is from the center. What is center of circle? 0 comma 0. So x1 by 1 is 0 comma 0. So if you substitute 0, cos alpha into 0 plus sin alpha into 0 minus p. So eliminate those zeros and just write what is c. C is nothing but minus p by under root of a square plus b square. Cos square alpha plus sin square alpha under root. But cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So under root of cos square alpha plus sin square alpha is 1. So what is d value we are getting? P. Okay. So what is length of chord now? So the length of chord is, the length of chord is 2 into under root of r square minus d square. So 2 into under root of r, what is r value? It is a. So a square minus d value is p. So write p square. Okay. So this is the length of chord to this problem. Okay. So this problem is completed. So next problem. See. If x square plus y square is equal to c square and 
the line x by a plus y by b is equal to one intersects at a and b. Then find a b. Hence, hence deduce a condition that the line touches a circle. Hence deduce a condition that the line touches a circle. So here, now equation of circle is given. What is equation of circle? Equation of circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to c squared. See now here the line intersects at a and b. See the line intersects a and b means this is circle. The line is intersecting the circle at two points. The meaning of the line x by a plus y by b is equal to one intersects at a and b means here. This x by a plus y by b is equal to one is nothing but a chord. X by a plus y by b is equal to one is nothing but an equation of chord. So here, then find a b. See, then hence find length a b. Here a b. What you have to find length a b. Length a b means what you have to find is nothing but length of chord. So again here you have to find out the length of chord a b. So to find out the length of chord AB, what we do is first we write the equation of circle. This circle you have to compare with x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. This is nothing but we get the center as zero comma zero. Center is zero comma zero. And what is the radius we get? R squared is equal to c squared. R is equal to c. So we have radius. Now we have to find out d. D is nothing but The length of perpendicular drawn from the center of circle to the chord. D is the perpendicular distance from the center of circle to the chord. Here we have a center of circle zero comma zero and radius is c. Now to find the d, we we'll write the equation of chord. Okay, the equation of chord is x by a plus y by b is equal to one. Is equal to one. We'll simplify this equation and we'll write this in the form of a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. So how to write that? It is b x plus b y by a b is equal to one. Okay. Then we get b x plus a y is equal to a b. Cross multiply that a b. Then rewrite this equation. B x Plus a y minus a b is equal to zero. So this is the equation of chord. Now we have to find out d value. So we find out d. So d is equal to mod of a x one plus b y one plus c y under root of a square plus b square. Okay. We'll simplify this. So d is equal to what is a value? A value always you have to take from the line. It is b. So b into b into zero is zero plus what is b value? This b value is nothing but coefficient of y. A into y one. Y one is zero. So center is x one y. So b into zero a into zero is nothing but zero. And what is c value? C value is nothing but minus a b. So minus a b by under root of a value it is b b. And what is d value? A. If you substitute, this will become b square plus a square under root. Now what is d value? Remove the mod. So we get a b by under root of a square plus b square. Now we have the value of d. So after getting this d, we find out the length of chord, or you can write length of chord AB. What is length of chord AB? It is nothing but two into under root of R square minus D square. Now we already have the values, so we we'll simplify this. So this is nothing but. Two into under root of R square minus B square is the length of chord AB. Now it is two into under root of 
R value. See what is R value? R value is C. Substitute C square minus D value. What is D value? A B by under root of A square plus B square. See this is D value. We have to square this D. D square we need. So I'll directly square and I'll write. So if I square, D square will become A square B square. A square B square by A square B square by under root of A square plus B square. Square root cancels because we have B square. Square root cancels. We get A square plus B square. So what is length of chord we are getting? Two into under root of C square minus A square B square by A square plus B square. So we completed the length of chord AB. After that, hence deduce the condition. Hence, deduce the condition that the line touches a circle. Okay, so now, now this is a chord AB, right? This is a chord AB. We have some length. So, what is again something we got? Now, suppose if the same chord touches a circle, if the same chord touches a circle, then the length of chord will be zero. Remember. If AB is a chord, we have some length, so we got this length. Okay. Now, if the same chord touches a circle, touches a circle means it will become a tangent. Then, what about the chord? We don't have any chord. In that case, the length of chord will be zero. So here, what we do is, if a line touches a circle, if a line touches the circle. If a line touches a circle, it's nothing but a tangent. But here we are solving the concept of chord. So if a line touches a circle, we say the length of chord AB is nothing but zero. Length of chord. Suppose if you take this as a chord, the same chord touches a circle, we don't get that AB two points. The length will become zero. So now. Deduce the condition if a same line touches a circle means what you have to do this length of chord is to be equated to zero. So now it is two into under root of c square minus a square b square by a square plus b square is equal to zero. After that we we'll simplify this c square into a square plus b square. Minus a square b square by a square plus b square under root is equal to zero. We simplify to calcium and this two goes to the other side. Zero by two is zero. Now square them on both sides. Squaring them on both sides, so we get c square into a square plus b square minus a square b square by a square plus b square. Is equal to zero. See, c square into a square plus b square minus a square b square by a square plus b square. Why I am not writing that a square by a square plus b square? If we cross multiply that, it gets eliminated. So we just write c square into a square plus b square minus a square b square. Now we'll simplify. So c square into a square plus b square. Is equal to a square b square. We write that a square b square on the other side. So just we simplify this. We get the answer. See, now we will simplify this length of chord. So now c square into a square plus b square is equal to a square b square. Now we write this equation as c square is equal to c square is equal to a square b square by a square plus b square. Or I'm taking it like this. See now what we do is a square plus b square by a square plus b square by A square b square, a square b square. See, a square plus b square by a square b square is equal to one by c square. See, a square plus b square as it is. 
क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई से स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर ठीक है ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर बाय ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर एंड दिस सी स्क्वायर आल्सो वी क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई इट विल बिकम 1 बाय सी स्क्वायर नाउ वी स्प्लिट दिस नाउ व्हाट वी डू इज वी स्प्लिट स्प्लिट मींस ए स्क्वायर बाय ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर बाय a square b square is equal to one by c square. I am splitting a square b square as two terms. That is, a square by a square b square plus b square by a square b square is equal to one by c square. So what is the result we get? A square a square cancels. So we get one by b square. A square a square cancels one by b square plus b square b square cancels. We get one by a square. Is equal to this one by c square as b is. So if we hence deduce a condition if the line touches circle. So if the same line that means x by a plus y by b is equal to one touches a circle, that will the chord will become a tangent. In that case, the length of chord is zero and the result is one by b square plus one by a square is equal to one by c square. So this completes this problem, and this is very very important problem. Practice this problem. Okay. Now to try to solve this problem, find the equation of tangent and normal at three comma two. Find the equation of tangent and normal at three comma two to the circle x square plus y square minus x minus three y minus four is equal to zero. See already we did this problem in the beginning of the class. So, what is equation of tangent? How do you find equation of tangent? Equation of tangent is nothing but s1 is equal to zero. What is s1? It is nothing but x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to zero. So, this is equation of tangent. You have to find out at a given point. Then, after getting the equation of tangent, you have to find out the equation of normal. How to find the equation of normal? Equation of normal is nothing but x minus x one into y one plus f minus of y minus y one into x one plus g is equal to zero. So, how to find equation of normal? Use this formula to find the normal. Okay. So, solve these problems. So. Next class will continue.